Here I am at the Excelsior Stadium in Airdrie where Elton John and his band are playing tonight and right now I'm with Elton's guitarist, the one and only Mr David Johnston. David, thanks How for talking much? to us. Good to see you. Now yeah. you're from Edinburgh originally, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Edinburgh and um, last time I was in, in uh, Airdrie I was playing for Edinburgh school, uh, boys school soccer team, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we actually won 2-1. <laughs> Good game. What about did you play in Airdrie? Because that was my next question. When was the last it time you were in Airdrie? The, the Airdrie and Coke Bridge team, so I don't know what right. you know what the stadium was. I sure, was, sure. I was only like fourteen or fifteen at the time. But it's quite possible it was the old Brimfield Stadium. Could have been. Yeah, yeah. That, that rings a bell actually. Because we played one in Edinburgh at Warriston and then uh, we played the return here. Right. And, uh, we got lucky. Because they were good. <laughs> now what do you think of the stadium here? Have you had a look at um, it? I've been all over this bloody stadium because I've got family everywhere in every corner. Um, yeah, it's great. It looks nice. You've been playing with Elton for many, many years. Uh, it's yeah. well documented how you guys got together, but just tell us a little bit about it, because I think it was back in 68 you kind of started. Um, the, I, the year I, was I born went by down to, to London in, in 68, and I got lucky doing studio work, working with various people, and um, I was working with a band called Magna Carta, Sure. Who Gus was also, Gus Dudgeon was the producer, uh, the late great Gus Dudgeon, unfortunately. Um, but Gus and I hit it off really well, and he thought um, I'd, I'd work well with Alan's music, and he asked me, would I do a studio date? I said, yeah. I, I had no idea who he was, no idea, because he wasn't really famous yet. At that time, right? He was this guy called Reg, you know, that right. was what he was called, you know. And, um, and, and one day we did four tracks I believe we did um, Tiny Dancer Holiday and Madman Across the Water and something else I believe on and uh, like the next week I got a call saying would I like to join the band you know I, as is part of his road band so um, yeah it was it's been all since then really absolutely so fantastic. it was since, since 71 is when I actually 71. started playing with them yeah and what kind of a uh, what can we expect to see tonight is it going to be all the hits um, hopefully a bit of everything, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you can't really get away from the hits because uh, there have been quite a few of them and people <laughs> come to these shows to see these, sure, see and hear sure. those hits. Um, a lot of the bigger, you know, the deeper fans like to hear tracks that maybe are not that familiar, so we try and put a few of these in as mixture. well. Uh, yeah, so it, it's hopefully it'll be a bit for everybody, you know. Now, uh, one of those hits that Elton um, sang is a song called Someone Saved My Life Tonight, mm. and I had a, I heard a story that Elton actually saved your life, is that true? It's absolute rubbish. Is it really? <laughs> I don't mean he physically saved your life, like jumped into a pool, but apparently gave you some advice uh, on life and, and how to go about Oh, it. yes. And, and so technically he saved oh, your yeah, life. Oh, yeah, he put me on a path. Um, yes. He helped in a bit. Yes, no, he definitely was. Among, I, I think if anybody has got any issues, whether they be alcohol, drugs, whatever, you know, um, it's great when people have the courage to tell them and say you know what you should have a look at what you're doing and yeah Elton actually being a very close friend was was uh, somebody who took me aside and said you know what have a look at what you're what you're doing you know because and I'm going really and I, I, you, usually you're the last person to know but as a result I uh, I stopped drinking almost eight years ago, so... Or you stopped altogether? And everything, yeah, I stopped right. drinking, everything. smoking, drugs, everything, and you know, so it's great. And has it changed your life? Yeah, dramatically. Oh, well, I'm still here. You're still here? <laughs> Everybody's so excited. Good. We can't thank you enough for coming to Airdrie. Well, I hope you enjoy it. We're going to have a great time. Everybody enjoys it. Thanks for talking to us, Cheers, Ross. You're a star. Thanks.